lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Interseal and Free Wrath are essentially the same fundamental position with certain adjuncts that are different. Let me explain. Long before the term pre-wrath was crystallized by some people I've known and had met, such as the late Robert Van Campen and also the Jewish believer, uh, Marvin Rosenthal, before those people, I and others like me, I was not the only one and I was certainly not the first one, but before pre-wrath came into vogue, before the term was coined, I and others like me, believed that the rapture was between the sixth and seventh seal, which pre rat says that there is a difference between tribulation and wrath, that believers will not experience the wrath of God, but they will experience the tribulation of Satan at the hands of Antichrist. I and those like me, always believed that the rapture will not take place until the faithful church knows who the Antichrist is, based on 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, Revelation 13, etc. pre wrath believes those same things, although I believed it before pre wrath was even termed pre wrath and believed it before those books that launched Pre-Wrath were written. But again, I was not the only one, and I was certainly not the first one. The raptured resurrection we see taking place in Revelation chapter 7. That's where it is. There's a problem with terminology. For instance, when you say you're post-trib, people think that means at the end of the seven years. But the tribulation is not the total of the seven years. The seven years is broken up into the beginning of birth pangs, which is just tribulation according to John 16. Then there's the uh, ellipsis, the great tribulation. And then there is the orge, the wrath of God. Three sections. So you'd say, well, are pre-wrath people also post-trib? Well, yes, they are, in the sense that the scripture means post-trib. Not in the sense that pre-tribulational people make the full seven years out to be the tribulation. Uh, it's not the tribulation. The tribulation is one section of the seven years. Pre-wrath and interseal believe the same things. There's no difference. We both believe the rapture is between the sixth and seventh seal, that the Antichrist must be identified to the faithful church first, that a persecution is coming that will purify the bride, that um, some will survive it, others will not, but it'll be akin to what Hitler did to the Jews. Uh, the Jewish Holocaust of the 30s and 40s will be aimed at believers by the Antichrist. And we both believe that uh, the faithful church will know, know who he is. And we both believe there's a difference between tribulation, great tribulation, and the wrath of God, but we're not appointed to wrath. Once the church has been removed by rapture, the wrath of God will be poured on the kingdom of Antichrist. The faithful church will not be here for that. And we both believe 
that essentially, once the faithful church is removed, God primarily turns his focus back to dealing with Israel and the Jews. That is the pre wrath position. That is the intra position. There is no difference in those fundamentals. It's just a variation. pre wrath is a variation of intra seal intra seal is a variation of pre wrath How do they differ? intra seal believes that the restrainer is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be taken in the sense that he will stop restraining. Three things restrain the power of Satan now that stop the Antichrist from coming to power. One is the empowering of the church to preach the gospel. Two is human government. Three is the convicting power of the Holy Spirit who convicts this world concerning sin, righteousness, and judgment according to Jesus and John's Gospel. Those three things will stop. Something that Daniel calls the shattering of the power of the holy people. Work while you have the light. Night will come. No man can work. The church will no longer be able to preach the gospel in the sense it does now. In the book of Revelation, God deals differently. There's some kind of an angelic proclamation from the heavens and things like this, but the church will not function preaching the gospel as it does now. Isaiah describes this as, Come, my people, hide away. Wait a while. Wait for the rescue, the rapture. Second, human government will be taken over as well as human economy and human religion, the false religious system of the world. The economic, the political, and religious will be in the hands of Antichrist. Finally, the Holy Spirit will stop convicting the world. God's spirit will not forever strive with man. This period of time when this happens, at the beginning of the seven years, corresponds to the period between the Ascension and the Day of Pentecost. Jesus goes and sends the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit goes and sends Jesus. It's the reverse. Now this does not mean the Holy Spirit will be taken from the hearts of God's people. Remember in John's Gospel, chapter 20, after Jesus was crucified and rose, he breathed on the apostles and they became born again when he said, receive the Holy Spirit. At that point, they became regenerate. But he told the apostles to go wait for the Spirit to be outpoured, to empower the church to preach the gospel and to convict the world. God's Spirit will never be taken from the hearts of his people but he will be taken from the world. The church will no longer proclaim the gospel of peace. It'll not be a gospel of peace. It'll be something very, very different. It'll be judgment. Our pre-wrath partners, counterparts, who have the same fundamental beliefs we have, differ from us in that they believe it is an angel which restrains. The arguments for that, I believe, are rather precarious, with all due respect to them. We believe it is the Holy Spirit who restrains. That is the primary difference. There are certain other differences as well. Some pre rap people place the two witnesses of Revelation chapter 11 elsewhere, as clearly as we can see, they prophesy at the beginning of the seven years. Differences like that. But the fundamental beliefs of pre-wrath and intra -seal are the same. They're simply two versions of the same thing.
We both believe the rapture is between the sixth and seventh seal. We both believe the identity of the Antichrist must be manifested to the faithful church before the rapture. We both believe there's a difference between tribulation that comes from the enemy and the wrath of God that believers, at least faithful believers, will never experience. Um, the heart of the church will follow the Antichrist. The faithful bride will not. These are the differences. They are simply two versions of the same thing. What unites them is much stronger than what divides them. They're not divided. They simply disagree on things like the restrainer and certain other points of sequence in the uh, unfolding of prophetic events in the book of Revelation. But the essential core beliefs are the same. There's not a lot of difference. You might compare this to uh, the open brethren and, uh, you know, Baptists, saved Baptists. There's really not a lot of difference between what they believe. Um, a brethren is a Baptist with a small b. A Baptist is a brethren with a small b. Um, certain differences, the brethren would emphasize the plurality of elders, the Baptists would put more emphasis perhaps on a senior pastor, but their essential beliefs would be very, very much the same. Um, or, you know, the difference between Charismatics and Pentecostals. Well, there are differences between Charismatics and Pentecostals as those in Pentecostal churches or denominations. There are differences, but the core beliefs are the same. Likewise, there are differences between pre wrath and interest seal, but the core beliefs are the same. They're the same thing with minor differences, no major differences. They're simply two variations of the same eschatology, the same end times theology. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.